Muslims who come in out of the state of Florida. Okay. Personally, we're coming all the way from, from uh, Orlando, Florida. We're going all the way here via bus. Okay. And we are here to let you know that this bill, first of all, I would like to introduce Gina. Hi. And that is first, she's a state. Nice to meet you. She's the one. Gina, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this bill violates the um, religious freedom in this country. Okay. And so that's why we're here. Uh, bill 1360. Senate Bill 1360, guys. Now, are those two different? Because I have 1360 and Senate Bill 1294. Are they two different bills? Yes. Okay. And do you know who 1360 is sponsored by? Yeah, exactly. So, Larry Mays yes. and Alan Hayes. Well, um, Representative Metz, there's two Senate bills listed, but only one Senate sponsor. Okay, so it's HB 1209 okay. and SB 1360. Okay. So one by Representative Larry Metz, okay. and the other one is by Senator Adam Hayes. Okay. And so the intention of this bill is solely to discriminate against the rights of religious minorities, such as the Muslims, and also the Jewish. Its original bill was crafted by the, uh, the, the Arizona bill lawyer David Hirschman, okay. which is the founder of Hate Groups, Hate by S, plural, Hate Groups, among them yes. the Society of American and National Excellence, or SANE. The word will sum up, it's insane. So the original so legislation was written for the anti Muslim group publicly policy audience, a group trying to pass similar bills in other states. Okay. It is all disguised in this foreign, uh, foreign language, mm -hmm. and they exclude everything but Muslims. They exclude the British. They exclude this. They exclude everything. Basically, it's crafted to discriminate against American Muslims, a law-abiding citizen mm -hmm. uh, that that pay their bills and everything, and they have the right, like everybody else, the right to citizenship, the right to to education the right to coexist, the right to, to freedom of religion, legislated by this country, by this by, by, by this American values. Right. So we all agree on this. This is anti-American, anti-religious, anti-minorities, immoral, plus this bill is so vague, I mean, uh, from, from, a, from, a, from, a, from a law point of uh, respect, it gives it, it is problematic in its in its nature. Very vague. That means if you come in with the hijab, the lady with her attire, that means that if you don't feel like it, you can discriminate against her. And this bill gives you just that. Okay. This bill is intended to take the rights of minorities, take the rights of American citizens. And it is unfair. And especially we should uh, we should learn about who is pushing this bill is a hate group. A little study about this person will sum up everything. <coughs> One of his saying and his quoting that the Muslims don't have the right to exist in this country. He's basically, they don't have the right to freedom of worship. This is constitutional issues. He's basically against the constitution as it stands. And that's what makes this country great, is the constitution. We stand, we as American Muslim, we stand behind the constitution. We stand by, behind every values that American brought. And this is basically, as a, sure, it's very broad, it's very broad, it's very vague, it's very broad, it's very basically eliminating everything but the Muslim. It's targeted to the Muslim minorities to discriminate against our women, against our daughters, against our aunts, against everybody. Mm -hmm. It is unfair just to, to, to take it into consideration. Just I would invite you to look David Hiroshima, the founder of the hate group, like I said, one of them is Society of Americans for National Texans or SANE and others groups as well. Mm -hmm. So to sum up to sum up the, the, it, it is it is a bill that is, the constitution already protects this country. And there is no need to change it for worse. It is, it is for the betterment of everybody. Everybody, it's a God-given gift to humanity, the ability or the freedom to believe or not to believe. It's not my position to tell you what to believe or what not to believe. It's not the position of the lawmaker to state for us what should I believe or what should you believe. They are infringing in our, in our privacy. They are infringing in our rights as human beings. 
and this sent a bad image worldwide, not only in America. It affects the image of America as it stands in the world. So it is a shameful bill. Should be should be wholeheartedly rejected, as it was rejected in the heart of Christianity in, in, in other states. So that's what I'm inviting you with open heart and with open mind, and as an American citizen, as a Muslim, to reconsider this bill for the sake of your children, for the sake of your citizenship, for the sake as a human being, full of conscience, for the sake of freedom of religion, as it stands for. The Quran states clearly in 2, chapter 2, 256, let there be no compulsion in religion. The truth stands clear from first word. Islam will not come here to take anybody's right. It will be to the rights of everybody. To sum up the whole Islam <coughs> that all this hate is all about, Islam says clearly in 1349, Surah al this is all mankind. We created you from a single soul and made you into nations and tribes so that you may to get to know and one another. The best among you is the best in color, not the color of your skin, not how rich you are poor, not this and that. So that's what the Constitution of America stands for, basically. That's what we celebrate. That's why we are proud to be America. That's why we are proud to be Floridians, because of this Constitution. So what, what, what do you think about what I just said? What do you think as far as your personal thought about this? Um, I can relay your thoughts to the senator. That's what I'm here for. And I will make sure that he's aware of your concerns. Is there anybody else that wants to? Yeah. Our concern is to be opposed on this bill, which we have presented anybody got the papers? to you. And that's You're... why we came no, all the way from the five minute people. No, we, we, we are here to oppose this bill. Okay. That's Name why we want the want senator to oppose for this bill. Don't go for this bill. That's why we came over here to fight up our right. As an American, everyone over here, you can see the color. Yeah. And that's why we came over here. And thanks for giving us a time. We really appreciate your time. Definitely. Sure. Really about 500. Jana, you have anything to say? But especially we are all Orlando, so this is our time. So, Senator, I took the time off to come all the way here. Every, each and every one of us. And we voted for him. To come all the way here <laughs> to celebrate yeah. America, to celebrate this, and we will defend, defend rights to be, you know, and this is an unfair bill, this is a racist bill, that you should not even be considered. On the floor. We don't want it to be It is a very vague bill. It's not clear. There are a lot of uh, terms which are not defined. Right. And I think uh, the representative will be in trouble a bit more. So, right. for that sake, check in the look next voting. at that. Yes. Sure. So it is very, very vague. Right. It may be intentional. Uh, so, that uh, some, uh, some should uh, look at that. Who's this? Well, I'd be more than happy to share that with the Senator. We do appreciate you all coming by. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate all the work you've done. If you can give the business card, we'll follow up. Send them an email to follow up. Can I may have your business card? Sure, sure. Let me Please. get my card. Thank you.